In 1838, the ship Beatrice left Alexandria in Egypt for England. Its cargo consisted of several artifacts of ancient Egypt, the most precious of all a black basalt sarcophagus of the pharaoh Menkore. Pharaoh Menkore was the son of Khafre and the grandson of Khufu. He ruled as king of Egypt during the fourth dynasty of the Old Kingdom more than 4,000 years ago. He was a good king by many accounts. He reopened the temples that were closed during Khufu's reign and gave his people more time of their own work instead of being completely devoted to serving their king. If someone complained that he judged them unfairly, Menkore would give the person something that he owned to compensate them. When the oracle at Boto warned him that he would only reign for six more years, he filled each day with drinking and partying, never pausing to sleep, so as to enjoy his remaining life to the fullest. Despite the oracle's warning, he ruled for roughly 22 years. He built his pyramid at Giza and named it Menkoreth is Divine. It is the smallest of the three main pyramids. The other two belong to his father Catherine and his grandfather Khufu. Mengore probably died around 2500 BC. Menkore's sarcophagus was found in his pyramid by Howard Weiss in 1838. Richard William Howard Weiss was a soldier, politician and explorer. He arrived at Egypt with the intent to explore and recover ancient Egyptian artifacts. At Giza, he and John Perrin worked with gunpowder, forcing their way into several monuments, including the burial chamber of the Pyramid of Menkore. He discovered the burial chamber by blasting holes into the pyramid, which was a rather extreme, destructive method. The burial chamber that contained the sarcophagus was found in the lower chamber in the bedrock. The basalt sarcophagus weighed three tons and the outside sewed elaborate decorations in the stone. There was no body in the sarcophagus and it also didn't contain any inscriptions or hieroglyphics. The broken lid of the sarcophagus was found in the upper chamber along with a wooden coffin inscribed with Menkore's cartus. However, the remains that were found in that coffin did not belong to Menkore. Howard Weiss claimed that he wanted to save the sarcophagus from further destruction and that is the reason he wanted to transfer it to Britain. It was put on the English merchant ship Beatrice that set sail from Alexandria in September of 1838. After leaving Alexandria, the ship visited Cyprus where she experienced problems with moving cargo. It arrived on the island of Malta and was to sail to Liverpool, England. Once there, the sarcophagus would be sent to England's British Museum in London. However, on October 13, 1838, as the ship approached the coast of Spain, a fierce storm broke out and the Beatrice sank. Some reports at the time said sailors swam ashore at Cartagena and pieces of wreckage had also washed up around the Spanish port. Despite the survival of the crew, it seems that no one was able to know the exact location of the wreck. 
Her master and co-owner was Richard Mayle Wichello. Born in Brighton, Sussex, on the south coast of England, he was about 52 years old in 1838. Even though it was believed that the Beatrice and his captain sailed from Alexandria on its last journey on September 20, 1838, the truth is that Wichello was not on board. Twenty days after Beatrice sailed, on October 10, Wichello boarded the steamer Blazer as a passenger in Alexandria bound for Malta. The reason for this is still unknown. Luckily, the Beatrice wasn't the only ship carrying artifacts. Vice chartered two ships to return his Egyptian treasure to England. Some artifacts, including the lid of the sarcophagus, were sent on a separate ship that safely arrived at its destination. It is since displayed at the British Museum. It is highly unlikely that the sarcophagus on Menkare was the only artifact aboard the Beatrice. It is assumed that 200 boxes filled with antiquities containing funerary, pink granite, sphinxes and gold pieces from the excavation were aboard the Beatrice when it sunk. The sarcophagus may be lost at the bottom of the sea, but there is a good chance that it is well preserved. It was made of basalt, which is less vulnerable to seawater than other materials, such as limestone. Perhaps one day it will be located and recovered from the water depths of the Mediterranean. <laughs>